I remember my first world title on inline skating. It was the greatest feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. The feeling of fulfillment that you have when you reach your goals. You have to find motivation, and for me, that's my motivation. It always has been. And inline, I was a 28-time world champion, multiple record holder. My transition from inline to ice actually came out of necessity. I found myself wanting a new challenge. I needed another step in my life. When I discovered speed skating, it was naturally just a good fit. My name is Joey Mantia, and I'm a long track speed skater. My ultimate goal is to become an Olympic champion. My training regimen is pretty rigorous. I think uh, to be a high-end athlete of any sport, you have to have that as a key component. That's not only just putting in hours, but it's, it's putting in quality work as well. A lot of high volume stuff and high intensity. Plyometrics and isometrics, mental preparation, all that plays a big role. When it comes to speed skating, there's just a lot of ailments and pains that your body goes through and that you're, you're experiencing and you're hunched over, you're in a real low squatted position. You have to be in a very tight and strong position all the time. The static, uh, build up that you have. It does a number on the back, it does a number on the shoulders even, the hips, IT bands get very tight, knees, basically everything from ankle <laughs> to neck, I would say, is involved in that on some level. Especially for me, the older I get, the more sports science comes into it and the more you have to actually pay attention to your body and recover correctly. Hydrotherapy is a great way to keep absolute zero impact on all the joints and still recover in, in the way that you need to recover. I am in a sport where it is a completely outrageous, stressful environment when you're racing. It's hard to have your body perform and recover and do all the things it needs to do when you're not in a good place mentally. And on those long days when I come home and I do have those aches and pains in my back and my neck and my tendons are screaming at me, I'm just gonna hop in there, get in the lounge and just spend 30 minutes decompressing and just let the spa do its job. Being able to go out in my backyard and just hang out, just stare at the mountains and put myself in a good place to rewind and reset is gonna be the most beneficial for me. Ultimately, just, just bringing peace of mind and putting my body back together when I need to to get ready for the next training session is gonna be absolutely indispensable.